drive, release, lift and stretch, accelerate back into the ring. And so I'm gonna do my best. I have not pushed in harness gloves for a very long time, but I'm going to do my best to kind of resemble what it should look like. So you should see kind of all five phases, contact, drive, release. The contact should be around, uh, what would you say, two o'clock or so? I would say two o'clock. It all depends on, you know, your size of your arm. The push ring, but it's usually around two o'clock. And you drive around, you know, four o'clock, four and six or seven, that's when you release. When you release, you want to rotate your pinky out too, kind of like a flick that you do. That will give you the acceleration that you need to sustain the speed and pick up speed throughout the world. Yep. You see how Daniel's reaching his palm like the back of his hands when it comes off. His hands aren't sideways anymore. They're they're straight and lifted back. So he's okay, rotating his hand. Imagine you want to grab something behind you. So can I go through the motion of the pushing and I can grab something behind and I and I'm uh, straight on the back. Yep. If you have if you're 54 and you have enough uh, core muscles, you should be able to bring your body up a little bit too. Yep. They can help you too. So if I want to put more power, I can kind of lift my body up and down when I'm pushing through that drive phase. I want to make sure that if I'm moving my body, that I don't do that, which is basically when I push down, go through the drive phase, I don't want my body coming up at all. That's just wasted energy. One of the things that we used to do when Daniel was younger, because at first he couldn't reach the whole ring, his arms weren't long enough, and some couldn't of you guys the maybe, handle. yeah, couldn't reach the steering handle, which actually <laughs> was really helpful because he learned how to control his chair without steering. It's a little bit dangerous too, so maybe not recommended. But um, but we used to once he got strong enough to really drive that wheel, we would put like a little broomstick or something across the back. So that he would have to hit it every time and that helped him develop being able to lift um, was having a goal to hit something and so and that also helped you with the acceleration phase which is you want to have you want to have a little separation between your glove and your push frame so you can come and make contact on the ring with a lot of power that's how you gain your speed and then the flicker ring on the bottom opening your pinky up but some of you who are younger and can't come all the way down to the ring. It's right. very likely that you won't be able to reach the bottom of the ring at this point. And that's okay. You're just going to be doing a little bit more of a, we call it a choo-choo. We don't like to see it in an older athlete who can go all the way around. But you might have to just... It's going to be more do, looking yeah. like this. Yeah. Okay? Because you can't get your hand all the way down to the bottom. And that's okay. Daniel started out in a chair. And this is something for parents to know as well. Okay, your your um, chair, your first chair is probably not going to be one that's custom fit for you. It may be a whole a lot bigger than what you need, and you're going to foam, put foam in and make do until you get to the point that you can get a grant or whatever. Don't feel like it has to be perfect, because plenty of people have started in a not perfect chair. <laughs> okay, or fancy. You don't need carbon fiber wheels. <laughs> Like Danny explained, right, the compensator, that's, that's how you steer the chair on the track, whether it's straight on the curve. When you're using five finger glove, right, it's, it's more of using your fingers, you know, in combination with how you push to go around the curve. When you're using harness glove or hard glove, it's more a combination of hip movement that you have to do, control your chair and keep it in the middle. You know, it's very difficult to grab the ring and sort of move the chair keep it in the middle of the lane. And that's something that you learn with experience as you go. Yep. Keeping the chair in the middle of the lane. With tipping and pushing. Daniel, why don't you come on off and maybe we can start getting people into their yep. chairs at this point um, so that they can transition.